Hi, this is Star Talk Radio. Mike Massimino sitting in for Neil deGrasse Tyson mm-hmm. with Chuck Nice. Amen. And we're talking about the movie Gravity and fielding questions from our online social media resources. That's right. That's right. So let's jump right into it. And all these questions are pretty much tailored to you. So they must be easy ones, right? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Even an astronaut knows this stuff. I, the, uh, we don't what? have Neil here with the big brain, but we've got an astronaut who can do his best. Here's the thing. No matter right. who is in this studio, I am always the person with the least amount of accomplishments. So, <laughs> Oh, cut it out. Don't lie to the people. So I'm, I'm used to Come it. Come on now. All right, here we go. This is from uh, Rachel McClellan. And Rachel says, I haven't seen the movie. Oops. Oops. Sorry, Rachel. (laughs) You're about to be very disappointed. Uh, No, haven't seen the movie, but just the trailer for the TV advertisements. It seemed as though there was noise when everything was crashing around Mm. and falling to pieces. I thought there was no sound in space. Am I wrong? No one can hear you scream. Yes, that's the that is it is true when you're outside in a vacuum because sound needs a medium to travel along. It's like so we're, we're they can he, people can hear us now because they're listening on the radio. Correct. And we're using electronics to broadcast our voice. If if we did not have that, they would not be able to hear us. And we can talk across a room because the atmosphere gives us a, a, a medium to travel for the sound to travel on. Right. In space, since there's no. Uh, there's no atmosphere. There's no air. Mm-hmm. If you bang on something while you're doing your spacewalk, you will not be able to hear that. The only noise you can hear is internal in your suit because you have atmosphere in your suit. So right. the noise of your suit, the, there's a hum of a fan noise. You can hear that, which is good because if it stops, you know something's wrong with the spacesuit. And anything that comes across your headset, like the headsets we're wearing, we can hear that. And that's what happens right. in space. Because it's electronic. It's electronic, right. So you need a medium for the sound to travel along. And in so space, now, you, won't, you don't have that. So here's a weird question then. This would be more of a WWNS, what would Neil say? Ah, okay. question. I thought it was a wrestling thing. With the <laughs> w, I'm like, wait a minute. I, okay, good. No, this is my WWNS. All right. Okay. All right. okay. Let's say mm-hmm. you're in the vacuum, but yep. forget the pressure. Yeah. Okay. Right. You're All still right. alive. You're somehow. still alive somehow. Suspend yep. dif- disbelief right. that way. I got a feeling it's going to be good, whatever you, you can come up with. You fill your lungs with air. Uh, <gasps> yep. You hold it. Right. You go out into space, into the vacuum. Uh-huh. And then you go like this. Bah! Would you be able to hear that? No. What? You would hear probably something internal. You would hear whatever noise is being. Uh, reverberated inside of you, whatever that is. Uh-huh. But the actual projection of that sound would not would reach not, your ear. Would not reach so it. anything that's internal, you would hear. This is interesting, because you probably would hear something, because you're making noise within your body. Okay. But that noise would not project to your ear. That would be that would be probably a good question to follow up with, Neil. I wish he was here. <laughs> but since he's not, I can make it up. That's but that's cool. my theory. All right, all right. Yo, that's a, that's that's pretty cool though. One, one interesting thing related is you can't you don't hear you can you can't hear whistle in space when you're doing a spacewalk either because there's not enough atmosphere for the vibration for the vibration to, to happen to work. So oh, you, oh, okay. you can't you can't whistle while you work when you spacewalk. You can't whistle while you work. Somewhat you're... related. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now how about this? Have you ever tried? I'm speaking to your mm-hmm. own person. Have you ever tried to hit something in space just to try it out to see? Dang it! it? Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> bang. Well, uh, actually, I've I've made a lot of noise that I haven't heard. And I wouldn't say I did it on purpose. Right. But yeah, there's but, been things that I've had to break and things that I've knocked into and uh, I haven't heard a thing. It's f- One funny thing is when you're inside the spaceship, you can hear people banging around in the airlock. Right. So they don't hear any of that. They're in there making a racket. You know, right. moving tools around and banging into stuff. And you're upstairs, like, you know, you're upstairs and the kids that you have are making a racket down. Right. Who's making that noise? <laughs> What's going on down <laughs> in that airlock? Cut it out. But they don't hear a they don't thing. They don't hear a thing. They're banging stuff left and right. But you can hear that because the sound is traveling through the ship. Oh, my God. The reverse of that would be every parent's dream. That's yes, not- <laughs> just shut the... Ca- I think it's better to hear what's going on, though. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Well, there you have it, Rachel. There's your answer. It's Hollywood magic. That's why you're hearing things. Thanks, Chuck. This is Mike Massimino sitting in for Neil deGrasse Tyson, and thank you for listening to Star Talk Radio. The left arm.